My friends, nothing puts a dent in the day quite like waking up in the morning, flipping on the Keurig, and receiving a partial brew. And to amplify the annoyance further, you're late for work because the alarm didn't go off, get dressed, the dog peed all over your favorite shoes, stuck in traffic, get to work, miss your meeting, and realize, oh, I'm not wearing any undies, resulting in an ill-tempered torrent of verbal phraseology. A partial brew is a sound indicator that your Keurig is clogged and needs to be cleaned. Well, you have come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your Keurig with confidence. Coffee is the world's most famous beverage, and it got a little bit better when the pod coffee maker came onto the scene, specifically the Keurig with its K-cups. From time to time, though, you need to give it a good cleaning, like anything else. The reservoir is very good at storing mold because people leave water inside of it, and your brewing lines have a tendency to clog over time with mineral buildup. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how to clean the outside of the Keurig, and then we're gonna clean out those lines. Just a quick word of warning. Before we get started, check your Keurig. If your Keurig has the filter built into the reservoir like this one, make sure you remove that before we do any type of cleaning whatsoever. The first step of this process is to fill the sink with hot, soapy water and then we're gonna take and we're gonna clean all the removable parts from the Keurig. First, pour off the reservoir lid and let it soak. Next, the actual reservoir, then the drip tray, most of them are two pieces, and lastly, the K-cup holder. While those are soaking, you could dip a microfiber cloth in your hot soapy water and use it to wipe down the machine. Use a cleaning toothbrush to access any of the hard to reach areas. After all the removable parts are clean, you've wiped down the machine really well, got anything sticky off of it, it's all clean. Just towel dry all your removable parts, reassemble the machine, and now let's clean out the inside of the Keurig. For this process, just fill up that reservoir halfway with white vinegar. Now just turn on the machine and run the brewing cycle. We're basically just brewing vinegar here. This will clean out the machine and get rid of any mineral buildup that could potentially be clogging those lines. Now if your Keurig is really, really bad, you may need way more than just half a reservoir of vinegar. You may need to run like four reservoirs full of vinegar if that's what it takes to get those lines cleaned. But just keep brewing that vinegar and I promise you, your machine will come clean. Next thing you gotta do is just clean the vinegar out. So just run like four reservoirs full of water through it. Just brew water over and over and over and it'll clean out any remaining vinegar that you might have in those lines. Last thing you want is a vinegar tasting cup of coffee. Last thing I want to mention before we sign off, a couple of maintenance tips. Number one, always empty the reservoir when you're finished using the Keurig, especially if you go on a vacation or you're leaving for a weekend getaway or you just don't use the Keurig that often. Never leave water just sitting inside that reservoir. It's just a recipe for mold. And number two, use distilled water instead of regular tap water. Distilled water has the lowest mineral content, so if you're using that, you're not gonna have to worry about the mineral buildup issue. So that's how to clean the Keurig. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more great content, and click the little bell notification right next to the subscribe button so that you're notified every time a new video drops. Coffee, the ultimate beverage, the solution to homework. The reason Superman can fly Implement the steps I've outlined in this video and you will be well on your way to becoming the Keurig cleaning savage that I know you are.